Students at a West Metro High School are taking an interactive and straightforward approach to tackle the vaping epidemic. The initiative is called They Lied, We Know. It calls out the tobacco industry for not sharing the dangers of vaping with youth. WCCO's Jeff Wagner shows us how these students are making sure their peers don't become a statistic. See that? Your lungs look like this. Of all the conversations happening when the day ended at Minnetonka High School, they didn't give us all the information about how bad it was. This topic in particular is one these students hope will be the most memorable. I kind of stepped them aside and I was like, well, this is kind of serious. You know, don't joke about it because it's a pressing issue that we need to address. They Lied We Know is a campaign funded by Cambria sharing the dangers of vaping. But instead of having doctors or medical professionals at this booth, it's their classmates leading the way. If it comes from a person who like knows you, who's seen you doing it, um, and is a peer and at the same level and can sympathize with what they're going through, I think it should hit home. I hope it hit home because I don't want anyone to die from this. The latest numbers from the CDC show nearly 1,500 people nationwide have lung injuries associated with vaping. 33 people have died. Most of the patients admitted to vaping THC products bought illegally, which the CDC says is playing a major role in the outbreak. When people first started vaping, all they knew about it was that it was better than cigarettes, and so they didn't really know the harmful effects. This week, Governor Tim Walz is on a listening tour at Minnesota high schools with students saying more must be done to help teenagers break the addiction and that bright colored posters aren't doing the job. The hope is this initiative, which carries a laid back but informative approach will send a message that sticks. With the big setup like this and the t-shirts and the candy and the stickers, I think it's, it's really putting, you know, escape the vape everywhere, which I think is really effective. The display will be at Minnetonka High School on Wednesdays and Fridays for the next month with the hope that it can expand to other schools in the future. And there's also the hashtag escape the vape, helping push the movement on social media platforms, which is of course big for teenagers. Yeah, well we have three teenagers mm -hmm. and I think the chances of them listening to other teenagers versus us is so much better. Yeah, instead of having adults behind the table or medical professionals, maybe they're more likely to listen to someone who's been through it, understands what they're, what they're going sure. through. and. Uh, and quit vaping or not do it to begin with. Yeah, well, we wish him luck. Absolutely. Thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm.